Today we're going to be making a hearty chicken stew perfect for a cold winter's day. Hi and welcome back to Plating It With Wendy where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, you're at the right place. So go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll be the first to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. To a heated heavy bottom pot, on high heat, we're going to add about two tablespoons of oil. And into that, we're going to place about six to eight pieces of chicken, skin side down. The chicken is about a kilo and 200 grams. And we're going to sear it till it gets a lovely golden color on one side. We're going to season the pieces of chicken with some salt and pepper to taste. And while the chicken is searing, let's use this time up to cut our veggies. We're going to cut up about six celery sticks, which is approximately about 120 grams. And we're going to cut them into fairly big chunks. And we're also going to cut about six carrots. And I'm using little baby carrots here, but you could use bigger ones. And this is about 200 grams and we're just going to slice it up diagonally. Let's keep the veggies aside and take a look at the chicken. And once they get a lovely golden color on one side, we're going to flip them over and sear them on the second side, but not forgetting to season them with some salt and pepper. Once the chicken has seared on the second side, we're going to take them off and place them on a plate. In the same pot, we're going to add one two inch stick of cinnamon, six cloves, four cardamoms, and two bay leaves and we're going to saute them till they release their flavor. Now into that we're going to add two medium sized onions which I've finely sliced and three garlic cloves which I have minced. We're also going to add one tablespoon of ginger paste and we're going to saute this till the onions turn translucent and deglaze the pot and take up all that flavor that has been left behind by the chicken. You'll notice that when the onions turn translucent and have picked up all that flavor of the chicken the aroma in your kitchen is going to be amazing. We're going to go in with one finely diced tomato, or you could add in two tablespoons of tomato paste. And we're going to saute it till the tomato blends with the onion. Now we're going to toss in our chopped veggies. So we're going to add in the celery and the carrots, and we're going to season it with a little salt and pepper once again. To get a lovely saucy soup to the stew, we're going to add in two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And we're going to saute this once again till the flour loses its raw flavor. We're going to go in with three cups of chicken broth. And we're going to give it a stir. And to get that traditional flavor of stew, we're going to go in with one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And now let's give it another stir and allow it to come to a simmer. And now we're going to add in 250 grams of baby potatoes and we're just going to season them with a little salt and I've cut them into half because it cooks faster and now we're going to place the chicken back into the pot and we're going to place them skin side up and we're going to make sure that we give them a little press so that they get immersed in the soup we're going to give the pot a light shake and then cover it up and let the chicken and the veggies cook and once it's all cooked it's time to take it off the heat Plate it and enjoy it. And we're going to finish it off by garnishing it with some finely chopped cilantro. Oh my goodness. Just look at that thick, delicious stew. I love to dunk in a slice of bread and enjoy the hearty flavors of the soup. And now it's time to give our chicken stew a taste. Wow, I'm so excited. It's looking so delicious. Just going to cut a piece of the chicken. It cuts like butter. I'm going to add on a little bit of the carrot to do to it. Wow, look at that. Mmm! Wow, this chicken is absolutely delicious. It's so loaded with flavor and the carrot just melts in your mouth. I hope you give this recipe a try. So hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.